where you were. So there. if you didn't have that in the server mechanism system, in ways where you got reliant on feedback, yeah. you'd always be too late. Yeah. Because it already happened. That's why you need to be able to read a queue. So, so you can actually, or, or, or anticipate what you have to do and set for what you have to do. So you don't need the, the muscle to be pre-stretched for that. That's set by the spindle. That when you were saying you, you could start with yeah. no stretch but at you all. Could, but, but you could stretch in those by taking out the stretch. In those the gamma, it's co, ga, alpha and gamma coactivations where you take the stretch of the muscle. You, 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 is he awake? Yeah, go ahead. Just finish what you're going to say. In, in those, you, you, take, you, you take out the slack. So you, in those, and this is what I call by taking out the slack. I take out the slack. And it's on this basis that I then stretch the muscle. Okay. In, in, a, in those... Is it, okay. Yeah, we should just, I just okay. went, if we just come back, okay? It's okay. Okay, so in other words, I've taken out, the, in other words, the, the problem becomes essentially how do I stretch the muscle, which is, mm. all, in other words, when, when I stretch, for, for, this, for this phenomenon to take place, the muscle is already undergoing its contraction. Mm. In other words, you're stretching muscle, which is undergoing to contraction. If you can understand mm. that, I'm not slack, I'm not something slack. Sorry. We might be a bit um, chaotic here. The chaotic baby's here. just woke up. Oops. Okay. And so, what the problem becomes is, is, is one setting the threshold response of the reactive sensitivity of the spindle for an explosive event. And that's why you need an impression of what you need to do. You know, and, 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 and of this explosive effect you want to cause. You know, that sets that that sets the level. You know, if if I'm going to bunt a ball, it's different if I'm going to hit it, and I'm mentally set for that. Yeah. And uh, as a bowler, who, a pitcher, who if if you have a fighter, who, a, a bowler who you know is a type of bowler, you've already you can already anticipate much of the thing in a fight is that you can't anticipate that because the, the particularly if if the guy's got multi-dimensional skills. Yeah. Because he's variable. And that's why you rely on the cue. Either way, yeah. you rely on the cue. Yeah. It's not more complicated than just the, a, a ball more, coming in and all kinds of things yeah. coming in. Yeah. So those, that, that sets, that can set that reactivity sensitivity of that spindle. The other problem now is how do I stretch the muscle, if you like, to involve the serialastic component of the muscle, as well as to stretch the spindle, which is embedded in the muscle. Right. Does that make sense? Okay. So. I figured out, you know, it's, I take out the slack. That's at one end. That's at one end. So I've, I've simply, because if we say this is a fixed joint, I take out. That's you know, that slack, yeah. That, so that's, that, that's the slack. Mm. And it's now on the slack that I make the sudden pull. But then I figured I could also make, I can increase the stretch by what? Moving one again, against, the against the other. Moving, mo moving, <laughs> in, you know, it's, if it took me that much time to get to there, yeah. if I do that, <laughs> it'll be even it'll be quicker yeah. if I time that, that. So that's basically part of what, what I, the way I mechanically, biomechanically, if you like, translated that into my movement. What I used to say to Terry O'Neill, in those, the, the myotactic reflex, in those, that, that through synapse, through a synapse within the spine, well, it's impulse from the, res, the, res, the result of this stretching produces muscular contraction. The greater the magnitude of that impulse, the greater the motor units recruited within that, right. as, as a result of that. So what I used to always say to Terry O'Neill, it wasn't, it wasn't the hypertrophy of the muscle I was interested in. It was the neural impulses to it. That's what I was interested in. That's why I needed an impression. That's why I needed for, yeah, to activate this alpha system. That's why I needed that, as well as a way of stretching and taking out the slack to increase that possibility. So, to, I, so it, was, it was reactive power I was looking is, for. Is, is that the biomechanical explanation of uh, biomechanical explanation as opposed to the endocrinological explanation for the, the old saw of the mother lifting the car off the kid? That that. Yeah, the, the neural impulses are so high. Ah, yeah, that, 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 that's what's going to do it. And obviously, uh, acetylcholine. Uh, acetylcholine. Uh, uh, yeah. yeah uh, no. What, what, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yeah. Pardon, if we, if yeah. we can snip. In those, the, the, the chemical, in those, the neurochemical uh, cocktail yeah. increase can facilitate that happening. Happening. So you, so you produce greater contractive force, you feel anything is possible. Right. We, I think we did that on the mindset. Yeah, on, yeah. On I didn't mean to distract you from that. I just thought that 
so so that so that's basically I'm looking to actually create uh, impulses to to put, you know it's, it's but the other thing, and this is where, where, where John Law's question about oscillatory movement comes in, is that what I'm looking for is the uh, torque, you know, to create the maximum force, if you like, a pull on the joint. Uh -huh. You know, the, for, the force of the muscle is linear, and, it's in, and where it is, obviously where it inserts into the muscle is, is critical, the, at the point of the insertion. And the, but the action of the joint is rotary. Okay. Now, the if you like the uh, the torque itself is is the is this line of muscular force. Yeah. And what they call the momentum, mm -hmm. or it's the the action of that muscle against around the joint, the okay. point of the joint, and the momentum is the measurement, if you like, the perpendicular line drawn. From that line of force, yeah, to the point of the joint. Okay. That's why all your starting positions are what basically ninety because that's when it's at its most, its maximum. That that point of pull on the muscle. That's okay. when that's when the torque is is at its maximum. Okay. That that, that that's why you that's why you line up at ninety. That's the degrees. optimal range of motion is close yeah. to that. Yeah. Close to that ninety degrees. Yeah. So so I, I that's why I shake the joints at what. 90 degrees. 90 degrees. Now, you know, it's whatever I'm doing, it's all at uh, even hip flexion, even yeah. knee, everything, everything. Everything is all within is the all, optimal range. It's all to work that, that, that oscillatory rate at the, at night, at, at, at the moment, at, at, the, at the maximum point of that moment times. Right. Where that force at can be applied maximum optimal, immediately yeah. to the what? Yeah. Moment times. To, 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 to move the joint. Okay. That's, to move the arm, to move the limb. So that's what I do, and that's why when I, on the, with the Golgi tendon idea, the idea was that uh, I realized that the Golgi tendon was an inhibitory, in, in, inhibited, the facilitation of contraction. In other words, it was a reflex response to prevent what damage to muscle occurring. Right. And that's why when I trained the Sanchin, I trained all those things as again what, and optimal. these optimal points yeah. to actually increase. To raise the threshold at that joint, at the point where, the, where the muscle and the tendon, because that's where the Golgi tendon uh, receptors are embedded, uh -huh. to increase the tension at those points, because now I had I could produce maximum pull and maximum drive with a limb. I don't know if that it's a yeah. very complicated thing, but that's that's how I that's how I interpret that's what I did why I did what I did when I performed Sanchin. <laughs>